Hello boys and girls, how are you? How's everything going? It is your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, also known as Jitinder Man. Could you imagine what happens if Spider-Man took off his mask and he went like, <laughs> How are you? Lois Lane? No. That's Superman. Phony people. And how do you deal with the phonies? There are many types of phony people. And I'll make a list. One is the complimentary phony. The other one is the, I want to know what you're doing in your life all the time phony. Then there's another one who is, I'm going to stalk you phony. The first type of phony, the one who wants to compliment you all the time, is there just to make you feel like you are comfortable. For example, you could be like, oh my God, you know man, I've put on about 30 pounds. No, you haven't. You look smashing. You look fine. You look so good. You know what I think about those people? I think that they, a, don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to be insulting. I would prefer if someone were to be honest and straight up and be like, look, you're not looking your best. You have put on a little weight, but I do believe that you can do it. Now, not everyone has the same manners and good attitudes of the rest of the people because somewhere along the lines, people thought it is attractive to be rude. Billy, we've already told me off. Let's move on. You're tacky and I hate you. Now, as Jitinder, I am telling you, if you are rude, in my book, you're an asshole. <laughs> You understand what I mean by that? It is not an oxymoron. You are literally an, you know what I mean? You are one of those. Because somewhere along the lines, somewhere people are like, I can be rude and I can say what I want and I can yell and everyone will listen to me. Well, at some point, somebody, the good people need to stand up and then just slap, slap it around. Just slap it, slap it, slap it. And that way the person who is thinking all that, I mean, for God's sakes, reality TV is a prime example. I'm not going to get into the realities of reality TV because it's unrealistic. What is you thinking is the reality of reality TV. And I know there's some people who watch religiously reality TV. And when you do watch it like a religion, you are having some really realistic problems. The other person is the I want to know what is happening in your life phony person. That person basically calls and wants to know only one thing. What are you doing with your life? Now, you could not be doing anything. You could be doing a lot of things. But the fact of the matter is, there is a little troll in the back of their head going, yah, 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 and they want to know what is going on in their life because they are not settled. They are trying to figure out where, where, is, where do I fit in into the scheme of this whole paradigm called this world. Where do I fit in? And somehow they think that attaching themselves onto you, if you know what you're doing, they can figure out what they're doing. Let me tell you right off the bat, don't have toxicity of those people in your life. Then some people will be like, no, no, I have to, I have to keep because I'm, no, no, you don't. There is no sacrifice on you. They will suck your life out. You do not need to have that. You don't need to have the vampires. You don't need to have that drama. Remember Sally when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you, you did. I lied. The stalking phony. Now the stalking phony will be a little bit more like a ninja. The ninja basically tries to find you on all forms of social media aspects or anywhere that you have an online stamp. And what they try to do is, they try to figure it out and piece together in their brain the timeline of what happened in this moment and that moment and it is very calculatedly crazy. Some people try to say, well, in that case, put it on private, well, you know, hide this and hide that and that. There is no hidden thing. If you want to vanish, you have to basically take it all away. Get off the socials, get off the thing. But then people, what do we do? We like, we like attention. We love the attention. After all, Jitinder, you're on YouTube. <laughs> But the point of the matter I'm trying to say is for those normal people who don't want to be in the in the in the know and the how What you tend to really have to do is just step back But now we are caught up in this whirlwind of all this this app that app all these apps are coming out And I have to go get mini Chinese now. So thank you very much Please make sure you comment rate subscribe and do all the fun stuff and I'll see you guys and I'm going to enjoy Chinese food I'm a little sick, but maybe I'll come out with video soon. Bye. Bye